parking on the no parking thing. Nice bag. Oh no, this doesn't look good. We should get out of here. Come. Sounds pretty big for an accident. There are no accidents. Thor, Tony, check it out. At once. Try to keep up. Case. On it. Obviously, we're gonna let you catch up. Whoa! This just got a whole lot more interesting. Let's make this quick. Where? Oh, nothing. Everything's just peachy. I'm just hoping these guys don't have. They're taking it back. They've got pulsar tech. So, Tony Stark. The Tony Stark lives here? I appear so. Tony? Hey, Bruce. Long night? Ooh, long five years. <laughs> um, at least it's quiet. Yeah. It was. I... <clears throat> hey, back off! Hi, I'm sorry. Who are you? Uh, Kamala? Well, uh, Kamala, your Emeraldite friend here is kind of on my shit list. Okay. I deserve it. Yeah, you're damn right you deserved it. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the science? It was a heist, science? Bruce. No. We were outsmarted. No. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, <sighs> and you knew that, you knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. No. No, we failed him. We failed him. Tony, I don't know how long you're going to be mad at me, and to be honest with you, I don't really care. Take as long as you want. But, but the kid is inhuman. We did this. And she needs your help. I, I can't. I can't. You can't what? You're ditching me? Hey, don't take it personally, kid. No, this is what he does, isn't it? And why don't you take a good look around, huh? I can barely help myself. <laughs> this was a mistake. Now we agree on something. So you're both just gonna walk away? The Avengers were set up. Cap was murdered. You think I don't know that? Huh? I've replayed that day in my head a thousand times. The Avengers take the ball despite saving the day, and that bastard Charlton walks away smelling like a rose. And guess what? Guess what? No one cares. No one cares. The world needed someone to blame, and he gave them their scapegoat. So, Unless you have some kind of astounding proof. I suggest you both get off my land. What is that? Proof. This better be good. Kind of buried the lead, you know. Could have told me about that earlier. No, no, no. No sitting on my couch. You're still on the list. Where did you get this? Guess your password on some resistance blog. Impressive. Dude, your password was I am Iron Man. Really? Huh. Thought I changed that. Son of a bitch. I know, it's incomplete, 
There's a whole folder on AIM's server. No, no, there's, there's more here. What? Yeah, look, it's smart. They encrypted it to look like a corrupt file. Need a few hours, I'll get all the rest. What is this? Who is, who is Tiny Dancer? Oh no. We gotta get out of here. What? You know this shameless Elton John fan? They helped me get out of Jersey. I wouldn't be here if they hadn't warned me about AIM. Really? Tiny Dancer? Look, we really should go. Now. I would have gone with Rocket Man. Okay. I got to get dressed. You have a suit? Yeah. Maybe, sort of. We'll see. Let's get airborne. More party crashers. Good thing I don't have neighbors. They'd be so pissed off right now. You always love to make an entrance, Stark. How did I do? Uh, I'll give you a 7 out of 10. Good to see you, Georgie boy. Been working out? Really any other billion dollar companies lately? Just yours. Hey! You're gonna pay for that window, Tarleton! Hey, Jarvis! You haven't aged a day. Welcome back, Mr. Stark. Missed you, buddy. You flying free? In full working order. Give me the worst of it. The Chimera is running on secondary power. Major hull damage is also detected. Engines are offline. Climate. So it's bad. That is an accurate assessment. Okay, we gotta get this bird airborne. <laughs> Excuse me? AIM knows it's here. So it needs to not be here when they get here. What? All right. While we work on cleanup, you mind taking a look at something for me? Certainly, sir. See what you can do about decrypting this file. At once. You. Whoa. <gasps> hey! Sorry? You should have knocked. I was trying. Uh, I was knocking fist. Jarvis, help me out here. It appears the locking mechanisms on some of the Chimera's crew quarters have not been enabled. There you have it. I will fix that. Please do. I'm gonna meet up on the command deck in about ten minutes. You should, uh, should come. I know, I... I look ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Of course you do. Man... No, 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 we all do. It's part of the job. Have you seen Thor's outfit? Flowing robe? Vegas shoulder pads? I mean, pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I am digging this, uh... Oh, it's a burkini. My mom bought it for me. Muslim ladies like to wear it for sports and stuff. That's great. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna change. Wait, 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 wait. The outfit is, is all about attitude. You gotta wear it like you mean it. Show me what you got. Come on, you can do better than that. Yeah, now we're talking? All right. You know what, maybe I can help you with some upgrades for that. Gear's already spinning. Really? Yeah. Oh, and if Bruce says anything, just remind him that all he wears are super stretchy shorts. <laughs> all right. That is more like it. Don't it look amazing, Jarvis? Take my picture. Well done, sir. Sir. You've successfully destroyed the arc reactor. Well, that's not something I ever expected to hear you say. Let's salvage what we can and get out of here. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, just, you know, I made it for all the right reasons. That's what I told myself. But look at what happened. The Terrigen reactor aiding. Now this. 
I can't control what other people do with my tech, but I can't pretend it's out of my hands anymore. I'm proud of you, sir. Yeah. I'm proud of me, too. Speaking of trouble, Bruce, Kamala, any luck with those initiator cores? Uh, working on it. Hundreds of people were infected. People died. Nat, Just take it easy. Did you take some responsibility, Tony? Oh, there's the Bruce I know. Throw everyone under the bus, why don't you? No, it's not the time. No, it's okay, Nat. See, he's been waiting to do this since Golden Acres, haven't you? Haven't you? This is our fault. All of ours. How do you not get that? It, what I get is that you actually believe all that crap you said at the hearing. I believe that we are dangerous. You really think the world is better without us? Yes. I'm out of here. You all have not changed. Look at her. She can't be fixed. She can't be cured. I've done the experiments. I've checked her DNA over and over and over again. You and I created the perfect disease. No, actually, I do the job. I make the tough decisions. Do it. I stand by the people who made me who I am. I am warning you. <laughs> Bruce? Make you angry? <laughs> See, it's always been your problem. Run from who you are, what you are. Maybe that's why Monica got the better of you. <laughs> the interview. Listen. Scour the earth. You will not find our lab. Okay. Monica's right. The lab's not on earth. I'm not following. Okay. When I was captured, Monica and Tarleton had this argument. Tarleton had to leave the room, and then Monica pulled up the coordinates to this satellite called Ambrosia. Ambrosia? That was a S.H.I.E.L.D. biomedical research project. AIM must have required it during the takeover. It would be a great place to hide proof of inhuman experiments, right? If you wanted to study inhumans on the cellular level, then zero gravity would be a perfect place to do it. Good job. Okay, so, we know where we need to go. We just need a way to get there. Project Star Booster. As I recall, you abandoned it because you couldn't generate enough acceleration in the auxiliary rockets. Yeah, yeah, no need to bore everyone with the details. That was before I had access to Mr. Shrinky. Jarvis, get Pim on the phone. We need a way to get up to this space lab. He's the only one who can help. That looks... Awesome. Because it is awesome. $1.4 billion vanity project. We may incinerate on takeoff, but I'll look damn good doing it. So. Tony! I loaded up your little- Oh, no. Don't worry, it's not mine. You can do this. Thanks, kid. Okay. Three, two, one.
I'm on fire! And jet boosters! Gotta do it manually! Juice left in these repulsors. Bingo. That's not ominous at all. I thought that... It's good to have you back, Captain. I'm so come confused. On. Yeah, come on. Gotta get you out of here. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Tarleton. Did he survive? Tarleton? Who cares, what? The explosion, he was too close. He survived. Thanks to you, apparently. And Monica, if you believe the news stories. That doesn't make sense. <coughs> Okay, I got you. The evacuation. All those people. Yeah, we'll get to that. You think you can walk? Yeah, it's okay. I'm good. Let's do this. Well, there's the cap I remember. Come on. Just lost the engines! Tony! Yeah, yeah, we get it! Shit! is we're not gonna die in a fiery ball of death. And the bad news? We'll uh, most likely suffocate first. <sighs> well, at least it's a good view. That it is. Damn, so close. <sighs> well, since we're gonna die anyway, you have any I don't know, last confessions? Your jokes. I just don't get them. I know, I read your diary. <laughs> Why'd you smash the reactor cap? A lot of people died. Tony, there was something buried deep beneath the bay. Somehow linked to the reactor, working its way to the surface every minute. It's the earthquake. I had to do something. The entire San Andreas Fault was about to blow. The ocean would have consumed the city. Millions would have died. Never doubted you for a second. Just had to hear it, you know? What the hell? 
hell is that? Well, look who it is. Am I always going to save the day?